Well, as your roving reporter, I've often brought you sights in and around Amsterdam. But this time we go beyond the city limits, always a wee bit scary, to go visit a master craftsman, painter, musician, and thoroughly nice guy, Vim, who makes a killer cup of coffee and also makes the most fantastical musical instruments. Look out for his paintings behind him and also his memoirs of the 60s, being in a band called the Hamnets. Ta-da! Maybe some of you old timers might remember back that far, though they do say, if you can remember the 60s, you weren't there, man. So future viewer, your roving reporter is not in Amsterdam. We've come to Outhorn. For you English speakers out there, that's not, not a command. It's a place in Holland. And um, let's see what's going on here. It's very nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, so tell me about what you do with the instruments. Uh, I hear you make instruments. Um, tell me about that. How yeah. Well, a couple of years ago, I started with building my own banjo lilies, uh, a ukulele in the, the shape of a real banjo. Oh. And that's because I, I saw advertisements of them, wanted to play one. Uh, I'm left-handed, so that's more complicated. And the other thing was that you couldn't buy them in Holland at that time. That's about six, seven years ago. Uh, and they were very expensive to let them come over from the United States. So I decided to build one myself. And uh, that worked pretty well. I played very, pretty well and uh, the sound was good. I Do you have a lot of customers who are left-handed? Uh, yes, 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 every now and touch. then. Not so many. I think the same percentage as in real life. Do you make right-handed instruments as well? Yeah, yeah, I do. All the all the instruments are right-handed. And just banjolelis or other things as well? Uh, incidentally, uh, some weird-shaped ukuleles. Oh. Ukulele in the form of a, a cheese or a canal house. All oh, right. And uh, well, two novelty different. ukuleles. Wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but the main the main thing is the the banjolelis. But what's special about it as an instrument? Do you like to play it? Yeah, I like to play it. The sound uh, makes people happy. Uh, and uh, it's small, you can carry it everywhere. And uh, yeah, it's quite a unique instrument. Yeah. When you play in a ukulele group with more people, mm. mostly it's, it's quite uh, slow. Uh, the tempo is not so... So well, but as soon as somebody plays a uh, banjo in a group like that, it's more like you have a, a backing group with the tempo and uh, oh, uh, the drums. It sounds very uh, yeah. percussive. Yeah. And that makes it uh, a real. Oh, option. yeah, because a banjo is kind of a bit like a mixture between a drum and a. It's a drum with a stick yeah, on it yeah, yeah, yeah. to make it more loud. Mm. And uh, that's what I do with the banjos as well. Oh. And yeah. um, so, how did you learn how to make? I mean, did you uh, make other instruments or did you just go, okay, I'm going to make this and find out how to do it? And yeah, I, I made some instruments before uh, because I'm left-handed. So you never could buy, in, in the 60s, you couldn't buy a left-handed guitar. Oh. So the only thing was either to buy a right-handed one and cut off some pieces and make it more left-handed shape-like. So what kind of music were you into in the 60s? Uh, well, like every uh, 17, 18 years old uh, boy in a pop group yeah. in, uh, in the Eimond uh, near Amsterdam. And we're locally very famous. And after three years it was all gone, uh, like with many pop groups. Then, uh, but it was a very nice, uh, very nice couple of years. And that I always liked. Played music. in Amsterdam. Did you play. 
Uh, I never, we never played in Amsterdam. Mm. That was uh, a world on its own, but in, in the northern part of Holland, mm. in Haarlem, Beverwijk, etc. Uh, and a lot of in the eastern part of Holland. Wow. We toured all what around. Were, what were you called? Hamlets. Hamlets? Yeah. Oh. yeah what did you wear? Um, <laughs> well, yeah, more or less the usual Just clothes. Just casual clothes, you know, yeah. dress and, up. Uh, a little longer hair than this. And, uh, well, <laughs> I, Great. That's all it was. Right. Oh. Very nice. But I never played. Uh, later on I did a lot of other work. And as a hobby I always made something out of wood. And mainly the instruments. And that's how I came to this one. Well, should we go take a look? Yeah. I have a little shed over there where I uh, do all oh, the sewing and uh, cutting. And okay, let's do, have a look. We we'll walk over there. All right. Yeah. Good coffee. Right. Uh, let's go um, yeah. outside. Look in my direction, baby. Let me see you smile. Will you keep on dancing, baby? I'll see you one more time. Looking in your eyes, it makes me love you. Looking in your eyes, it makes me love you. I want you to love me. No, 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 no. I want you to love me. No, no, no. This is uh, how, I, uh, how I make uh, the kettles, yeah. uh, or the pot, as they, they call it, and I bend it out of pieces of plywood around a little pan. And I heat that, uh, that pan and then I can bend the plywood over the pot and make it in this shape. It's a real pan. It's real, uh, yes. We used to cook nice. it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of favorite food made it? Uh, let me see on the inside. Uh, well, uh, stampot, uh, uh, real Dutch. <laughs> that, that's uh, the main part. Yeah. That's what going to produce the sound. And then I make uh, the neck out of a piece of... Let's see. This is mahogany. That's how it starts, and I don't have them in, in stages, I build them. But here you have some examples. That's how it was, and that's how it should look like. This is a different type of wood, it is either ash or mahogany. Mm. And that is used in many of the instruments for the good sound quality. Oh, and then the uh, I make the fretboards. That's the, the fretboard. I made it out of uh, a piece of wood and cut all the grooves in it where I put in the frets. And then it's a matter of shaping and sanding and lacquering up till the, the stage that you get the pot I put on the hooks. These hooks. I'm not the official uh, banjo hooks, but this is what they use in uh, in cupboards in the kitchen or to put the shelves on. And I modify them. I cut off a piece and I drill in a little hole. But I use them and they look very nice. And I, I screw everything together. And then I come to the part that I have to put on the mechanics, on the, the tuners, on the neck. And that goes on here. And then the most important part of the banjo is that you have the, the, the head, the film, that used to be in earlier years calf skin. Mm. But that is very prone to uh, the weather. When it's moist, then it slackens, and when it's warm and uh, hot, it tears sometimes so strongly. This is a kind of plastic, and we put that 
a ring over here and this one goes on and then I put on the hooks that they are, they are ready to prepare, prepare and ah, I put yeah. the hooks on and then I tighten the head and then you have a banjo oh. when you see a finish one everybody can choose his own head shape what you like standard I make them more or less like this one yeah. and this is this one has a more classical banjo head shape well I like this, this one it's very pretty very that's nice. a little Irish one yeah. somebody preferred a left-handed banjo lady and it's Irish oh. and then you put that one in and that's how it sounds oh. Do you give us a tune? Give us a tune? Okay, okay. well let's let me try. Uh... Hey, I know that one. Yeah. Has anybody seen She's my fine. girl? That's right. Yeah. Very famous. Well, that's great. And that's how they look like, and that's how they sound like. Mm. Oh, let's see inside. And then I put a little sign in, in the date where I make it, for who I make it. And um, yeah. Super cool. Yeah, and the person uh, who uh, who I made this one for mm. should be called in any moment. I don't know. Oh mm. yeah. Can we pick it up? Where's your website? www.banjolele.nl Oh. Er wordt even geklopt, want ik denk dat daar bezoek is. Hallo mm. en welkom. Mm. You have made me ukulele. I made you a ukulele. Oh. It's ready. Oh, I must see. I must see. It's here in the box. Mm. This is very fine. Well, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Na, 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 na. Too hot for YouTube. Future Vision Amsterdam. Watch full episodes free on Vidme. Vid.me backslash Chibi Channel. Follow the link below.